Hey, my name is Ryan and I'm a final year management with marketing student at the University of Bath. Today, I'll be taking you through how to use past year exam papers that are readily available on the university's website and also a couple of exam techniques that I personally recommend to help aid your studies. So the first part will be teaching you how to use or access exam papers on the university website. So firstly, go on to library.bath.ac.uk slash home to enter the library's main website. Scroll a little bit further down and you can see on the left hand side, there is a hyperlink that says past exam papers. Once you click on that, you have two options. Firstly, you can either search exam papers based on the unit name or code, or you can search by department. So for me personally, I want to look for past year papers under my business to business marketing module. So all I have to do is key in the code MN30109 and press enter. Once I do that, I will be given options from the last five years of exam papers. The second method for exam paper searching would be through by department. So this is really simple as well. All you do is click the tab and select the subject you want to find. Then, a whole list of the available modules will show up. Just scroll all the way down to find the module that you want to um, browse, and then just click on it. Once you've clicked on it, the papers will come up from the past five years. I'll be moving on to exam techniques next. So the two main methods I use to study are flashcards and active recall. I personally find flashcards one of the most effective ways to study because it kind of forces you to memorize things in a fun way. So how it works is that I take the front page and write down the prompt or the question that I want to test myself on. As I'm currently revising for my B2B exams, the example question I gave myself was, what is the sales orientation perspective of business to business marketing? I will then write the answer behind to test myself. So whenever I come through this card, I would read out the question out loud, try to answer it in the most accurate way possible, and then refer to my answer that's written on the back. The next method is called Active Recall. This method is a bit more tedious and I recommend it once you've covered your entire syllabus. Basically, what I do is I give myself an essay prompt and then write as much information as possible relevant to it. So for example, over here I've given myself the essay prompt, what makes a resource VRIO? As you can see, I've written a whole paragraph with relevant information pertaining to the question and then after that, I will compare my answers to a mark scheme, an answer scheme, or even notes that I've created. I will do this repeatedly until I get the information correct and this usually takes about one to two times for smaller topics and perhaps three to four times for larger topics. Lastly, to fully prepare myself for my examinations, I would normally re-explore my lectures just in case I miss anything. I usually just go onto Panopto and open the lectures I want to watch and re-watch it in times 1.5 speed or times 2 speed, comparing it to my presentation notes. From here, I can see whether or not there's information that I've missed out on or any of the wear in my notes which I can supplement to make myself fully understand the topic. So that is all for me today. I hope this video has been informational to you and good luck on your studies.